Hello friends, since you all are watching this video, you must be thinking which hydroponic system to use or which hydroponic system is best for growing your plants. So at the end of this video, you all will know which system is most suitable for your plants. Meanwhile, please like, share and subscribe if you think this video is useful and helped you in making your decision. Moving on, while there are many different types of hydroponic system, I will discuss 6 major types of hydroponic systems. So guys, this is my blog post from my website thehydroponichub.com. So today I am going to explain this video from this blog post. So the first and the most common one is the nutrient film technique. It is also called as the NFT system. So in this system, the nutrient solution is pumped into the tubes or channels having about 4 cm slope. The solution flows from the plant's roots and drains out into the reservoir and it is again reintroduced back to the channels. You do not need any grow medium and net pots for this unlike other systems as it has enough support. So this saves you a lot of cost and also because the size of the channels is small, this system works best for plants that have small roots like leafy greens. It is not suitable for plants having heavy roots like tomatoes because of less space. So among different types of hydroponic system, this system is most scalable. So guys, if you want to grow plants for commercial use, then you should use this system. So the best plants for NFT system that you can grow are spinach, broccoli, herbs and larger plants having shallow roots while the worst plants are rooted plants because the roots do not have enough space within the system. Now if you are looking to grow small and lightweight plants like lettuce then deep water culture is the best for you. With this hydroponic system the plant roots are suspended into the nutrient solution for the magic to happen. While air bubbles is generated with the A stone or diffuser connected beneath the solution, whereas the plants are kept in the net pots with growth medium to secure them at their place. Because the plants are suspended directly into the nutrition with ample amount of oxygen generated by A stone, the plant growth is super fast and healthier. This system works for almost all plants but works the best with small plants. So the best plants to grow for this system are small plants such as okra, lettuce, basil, bell peppers, strawberries, etc. Whereas there are no such worst plants to grow in this system, but the larger plants would be difficult to grow as they would require more oxygen to grow and plant support. Next, if you want to grow plants hassle free, then Wick Hydroponic System is the best for you. So this wick system usually does not require pumps, aerators or electricity. The plants are placed in growth mediums like cococor, vermiculite or perlite where a nylon wick runs from the plants into the reservoir consisting of nutrients. So since this system does not directly pump to transmit nutrient solution to the plants, the system only works the best for small house plants and herbs such as basil, cilantro, mint, oregano and other small plants like lettuce, microgreens and peppers. Whereas the worst plants are deep-rooted vegetables such as carrots, potatoes and turnips and large plants like squash, melons and pumpkins. Another system is ebb and flow hydroponic system. If you like home gardens then this system is for you as it is very popularly used as home gardens where rooted vegetables like carrots and radish can be grown. Also for a fact that this system has also been used by the US Army in World War II for the production of tomatoes and lettuce. So you see how rich hydroponics history is. The working of the system is quite simple where the plants are placed in the spacious growth medium like rock pool or perlite. Then the growth bed is flooded with the nutrient rich solution with a timer pump at regular intervals and then this water is drained to the nutrient reservoir. So with this system you can grow bell peppers, tomatoes, lettuce and varieties of herbs making your home garden useful. Whereas you cannot grow large plants with deep rooted plants in this system. While looking at the drip hydroponic system, it is the most convenient hydroponic system and is widely used in commercial applications where you can make regular changes. In this system, the nutrient solution is directly pumped through the drip pipes to the plant base. 
The flow of the solution is adjustable for each and every individual plant. The system can be circular or non-circular where in the circular system the nutrient solution is drained back to the tank. Since we can alter the size and the flow of the system, we can grow most of the plants using this system. So among many varieties of plants, the best plants for this system are bell peppers, strawberries, lettuce, tomatoes, mint and basil. Whereas the worst plants for this system are same as most systems where large plants with deep roots are not preferred to grow. Lastly, the aeroponic system. This system is difficult to build. In this system, the plants are suspended in the air and the nutrient solution is sprayed over the plant's roots directly. After misting the roots with mist spray, the nutrient solution falls back into the reservoir. We can grow any type of plants in this system. The difficult part is to make sure the entire root of the plants are misted properly. Best plants for aeroponics are lettuce, strawberries, blueberries, tomatoes, mint and basil, whereas large and rooted plants are difficult to maintain for aeroponics. So after watching all this type of hydroponics, you can choose which system to use on the basis of space, budget, convenience and production capacity. If you choose to increase your production commercially, then NFT system suits the best while deep water culture suits for home setup as it is customizable with no limitations. So guys, which type of hydroponic system suits you the best? Post your comments below. Thank you for watching this video. Please like, share and subscribe.